In case you didn't have it, you can actually write it down so you have it. So the first thing, ladies and gentlemen, you're going to determine 55 and x. What we need to do is determine how do we have these angles relate to each other. Well, <clears throat> what we know is 55 and x, those aren't any of those angles that we talked about. However, we know that 55 and x do create a straight line. Therefore, we can call them supplementary angles. And we know that supplementary angles, the sum of supplementary angles, is 180 degrees. So now I have a linear equation, right? Do you guys remember all those worksheets I gave you guys, all that practice on linear equations? So now we have to make sure we know how to solve. Ah. So I subtract 55 on both sides, and I get x equals 125 degrees. Very good. Now, I say this is equal to 125 degrees. Now I need to determine y. So I say, all right, well, how is x and y related to each other? Well, what I notice, Tyler, is they're both interior angles, right? And they're on opposite sides of the transversal. So therefore, we know they are alternate interior angles, and alternate interior angles are equal to one another. So we know that x is equal to y. If x is equal to 125 degrees, well, then what does y have to equal? 25 degrees. So you can say y equals 125 degrees. Now again, let me go back to my justification. I justified this is 125 degrees by supplementary supplementary angles. And I justified y was 125 degrees by alternate interior angles. All right? Please don't get in the habit of not writing in your justification. 